Right, can we have the contestants to step up to the plate, so to speak, now, and give them a round of applause as they, as they take their chairs. If you want to head in to your home for the next um, five, ten minutes, however long it takes to... He's got his fan club, look, he's got his fan club again. Look at this. We've got some um, relaxing moo moo juice out there for you, but don't drink that, because if you drink that, you're out, you've had it. Once, you, once your hands touch the cup, isn't it? You know, you've had it. You know, if you drink it, that's it. You, know, you can hold it, but don't drink it. So. so if you haven't seen this before, just to let you know what we do, we have a series of chilies that they have to eat. Uh, it's quite self-explanatory, really, isn't it? Uh, we start off with... Um, Number one, which is the padron. Now, chilies, in case you didn't know, now I'm going to sound as if I know what I'm talking about here, because I've got Jason on the left-hand side. Um, the heat is measured in Scoville heat units. S-H-U, see? I'm there, I'm with it. Um, and we're going to start off with the padron, which is between 500 and 2,500 Scoville heat units. Just to give you a clue, whoever is the last person standing will be eating the hottest chilli in the world, I kid you not. It's called the Carolina Reaper, and it's 2.2 million Scoville heat units. Now that's pretty hot. That is that is pretty hot. So let's just have a little um, wander around and see see who we've got. I'm going to ask you your name and whereabouts are you from. So where what's your name? Whereabouts are you from? Wendy from Lowestoft. Round of applause for these guys. And uh, next. Week, from Chatham Coalfield. Give Terry a cheer as well. Simon from Peterborough. Simon from Peterborough. Aidan from Bury. Aidan from Bury. Matt from Lowestoft. Defending champion Matt from Lowestoft. Mark from Lowestoft. And Mark as well. Sean from Lowestoft. Sean from Lowestoft. And last but not least. Bernay from Lowestoft. Bernay from Lowestoft. Oh, this is looking good. It's not as if it's a warm afternoon or anything like that, is it, to eat, uh, to eat chilies. So you can see we're going to start off with the padron. It's a, it's a green chilli. The rules are, Jace, just remind me, they've got to eat the entire chilli apart from the stool. Yeah. yeah. And um, that's about it. If you, if you decide you don't want to go any further, you don't have to. You can drink the milk and you can, you can opt out. Um, this is where I need your help as well, guys, because in order to get them underway uh, and, and chomping at their chilies, we're going to do a countdown from three to one, which you're going to help me with, and then we're going to shout out, chomp those chilies. Have you got that? <laughs> oh, yes. We're really going to do it. Okay, guys, are you ready for this? And girls. Okay, so a countdown from three, two, one... Chop them cheese! And this is where you get the best seats in the house because you get to. It's like feeding time at the zoo. Except a little bit more painful. Than the one they'll have in the morning. You watch the expressions on the face. Don't they look as if they're quite enjoying this? Matt, he's, got his, he's doing his usual trick. He's got his shades on so you can't see what's going on behind there. But that's, that's quite mild for him, I think, so. Everyone enjoying them? Is it good? Is it nice? They look as if they're, they're doing quite well. That was the padron between um, 500 and 2,500 Scoville heat units. Mm -hmm. I think That's probably like your korma, isn't it? It's probably like your korma if you go in for a curry on a Saturday. It's probably a little bit of a korma. I think everyone's uh, everyone's done done those. Now it's our old friend the jalapeno that they're going for next. The jalapeno chili is between 2,500 and 8,000 Scoville heat units. Now that, that sounds hot to me. It's actually quite big. I didn't think they'd be that big. They're not quite large actually. I didn't, I didn't think they'd be that big. Right. Just give us a thumbs up, or do you think we're ready to go for the, uh, the second round? Yep, but you're good. Okay, once again, guys, you know the score now, you know what to do, so count down from three, two, one, shot them cheese!
Facial expressions, what do we reckon? Anyone? It's really been enjoying them, don't I? Yeah. It's like a pleasure to come down the last. I mean, forget ice cream on the seafront. What did you do today? I went down to the seaside and ate some chilies. Yeah. It's good. These are like pros, don't they? What if they practice at home? Around the dinner table for like a week before the event, you know. <laughs> there is a chance here. Yeah. What if there's any tips or tricks of the trade? To eat and make it. You enjoy them, guys? Yeah, we're good. Eat a lot of curry. There you go. <laughs> You've got a thumbs up there as well. I think you've done it, guys. Give them a round of applause. Come on. Now, we're going on to chili number three. Oh, this looks smaller. You know what they say? The smaller they are, the hotter. So this is a finger chili, and it's between 10,000 and 100k Scoville heat units. That sounds hot. A finger chili. Are you ready for your finger chilies, guys? Here we go then, guys, once again, from three. Three. Two, one, jump them chilies. Oh, just been told this is where it starts getting warmer now with those chilies. It's the heat really starts to to kick in. <laughs> I think the heat has started to kick in already. Yep. <laughs> no one's got a bead on yet. Either. No one's got the little. You know, you know when you go out for a curry on a Saturday, and it's really warm, and you're like, oh, I, need, I, need, I need to do this. I need to do this. Give them a round of applause. I think they've chopped those chilies. Quite appropriate for lower stuff. The um, next chili is called the Bird's Eye. It's between 50k and 150k Scoville. Heat units. We can lose one in a minute. Now that, that sounds hot. Yeah. What do you reckon? Do you reckon we're gonna, they're going to suffer a little bit? Okay. They'll, they'll get a little bit of sweat on. The occasional wolfery eye, yeah. Yeah, we've got a little little bead going on already. So the bird's eye chili. Are you ready, guys, for this? Come on, nice and loud after three. Come on, three, two, one, chop them chilies. Those eyes are getting the heat red. Now. Coming from, the, uh, coming from the table, they, those things look hot. You see, the heads are starting to go a little bit, aren't they? There's a little bit of a... Mm. We're at that point of, I can't be first, I won't be first, I'm not, first. Just, I'm just not going to walk stuff. first, <laughs> over the front need, of somebody walk now. now. <laughs> Fire blanket. There's no shame in crying. Wow, I think, I think, think guys, you, you're doing amazing, you've done. Come on, round of applause. It's getting pretty serious now. We're kind of halfway through this. The next one, and I can see why, because of the colour. I, I see some eyes going funny. Is that right? Habanero. Now this is between 350 and 5,000. Scoville heat units. For 350,000. 350, we started off with a 500. This is 350,000. It's a chocolate habanera. Guys, count down after three. Three, two, one. Shot those chilies. This is gonna. This is gonna hurt. This is where it gets warm, I've just been told. Very warm. I think there's some smoke coming out of his ears. There's a few watery heads. There's a couple of watery heads, but they're looking good, though. They're looking all right. I'm sure these are hot. I'm sure you should not get a bit of duff batch. No, I won't try them. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I've been doing this a few years now. I've seen what it does to people. I'm not going to try. Round of applause again, guys. So look at this. This is, this is pretty, pretty good stuff. 
Okay, chili number six. Check this out, everybody. A oh, round of applause. I don't blame you. That was hot. Yeah, you can have the milk. You can have the milk, so we've got two. We're losing two, Jace, from this one. The milk will help. Four down. Yeah. Congratulations, well done. Back going. Marvellous effort. Okay. Right, so it's number nine now. Oh, I can feel that heat from here. We are going to give them a yellow Maruga Scorpion. Oh, no, in front of you, sorry. Yes. Oh, yes. I'll see you in place. Yes, the yellow Maruga Scorpion. Uh, it is two million Scoville heat units. Two million Scoville heat units. Oh, we've got one down, one down. Congratulations, well done. I think I hyped like up a bit too much saying the two million Scoville heat units, didn't I? But... So two, two chilies to go, and two remaining, and then there were two. Right, get ready for the yellow Maruga scorpion. Guys, count them down. Three, two, one, shot those chilies. Just a little bit of fruit. It is, isn't it? No emotion on there, the faces. Oh. They're cool, they're calm, they're collected. You're acting, you're acting. It's like a boxing match, isn't it? Like, I get occasionally a little glance over just to make sure, you know, the other one will see what the other one's doing. <laughs> That's hot, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Which is yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. Have they done it? They've done it, marvellous. They've done it. Oh, give these guys a round of applause. Hey! I, I have no idea. Now, these come, yeah, these come with a health warning because what Jason is holding in his hand, I believe, are the hottest chilies in the world. They hold the world record for being the hottest chilies. They're called the Carolina Reaper and they are around about 2.2 million. Scoville heat units. You could actually centrally heat a house with one of those if you left it, you know, in the living room. So the Carolina Reaper, these guys are going to attempt to eat the hottest chili in the world. And in fact, we've raised the stakes because there's two of you there and we're giving you two each. Oh man, that's nasty. So, guys, we need a really, really big countdown for this. Two of them left the hottest chilies in the world. So, three, two, two one, chomp those chilies. Good luck, guys. He's just stuck a whole one in his mouth. How is that even possible? Go on. Give these guys some applause, I tell you. The hottest chili in the world. Can you imagine going out for a curry run on one of these guys? I'll just, just have anything on the menu. You know, I'm alright. Right. You feeling alright, guys? You're not looking pale? You no? Know? Looking good? So, I'm just going to go to our organiser and he's going to tell me what we're going to do here. So, sudden death, what we're going to do is we're going to have a few of the last three right. chilies. So we've got the Trinidad Scorpion, the Yellow Maruga, and the Carolina Reaper. So, 1.5 million Scoville heat units, 2 million, and the hottest chili in the world at 2.2 million. Oh, here we go, we have a winner. Thank you.
number three. How do you feel? Because you've actually eaten the hottest chili in the world. How do you feel? It's not the spice. It's eating chili. My stomach's right. Okay. Well, I tell you what, give him a big round of applause because he's absolutely brilliant. He's done it well today. And it means we have a winner, a familiar looking winner, uh, Matty. A uh, winner again. How are you feeling? Alright, Matty. <laughs> Can you eat him again? Probably, yeah. So, this year, was it, was it a Prove it! This year's, uh, was it about the same? I mean, did, any different tasting or something like that? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we do actually because we've seen you before, haven't we? Because you you actually won to the uh, you actually won the chili dog eating contest as well earlier, didn't you? So you have won something today. So two winners here as well. Um, give them a big round of applause because I'll tell you they've eaten the hottest chili in the world. I want to give them more chili for them to eat. I give them a big round of applause for getting to the final two, and thank you, Jason, as well for all the Thank you. That was Pax as well for sponsoring. And thank you guys as well for coming down here today. Hope you've had an absolutely fantastic day and thanks for supporting such a brilliant event on the World Green in Lowestoft. Thank you. What's your name? Aiden. Well, Aiden, that was fantastic. I reckon it's a draw, personally. So, well done. What do you think of it? Um, it's hard. Hard to eat all the chilies, but the spice is worse after you drink the milk. God. It's worse now than it was when I was eating it. Yeah. And sugar. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was that was magnificent. Um, okay, so we got we got the winner of the last off chili eating competition, Matt Cruz, sponsored by Atlas Taxi. Thank you, Jason, for giving those out. I wouldn't thank you if I'd eaten them, but there you go. Yeah. C R U S E, no I. So, Matt, what do you reckon? That's all right. To be fair. Yeah. Yeah, it's hot, but nothing, nothing more than you can't handle. Do you know what I mean? What's your favourite one? Uh, probably actually the Nagas. Okay. Smoky, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice as flavour. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Have you won this before? Did I hear? Uh, this is now my fourth year running. <laughs> fourth year on a trot. Well, that's magnificent. Well done. Let's see your prize then. Hold it up. Let's have a look. That's sweet, lovely. Thank you, mate. No Cheers, worries. Matt. Well Thank done. You. Okay, so Jason, all these chilies, did you grow them yourself? No, no, no. I've got a lot of them from Holland. It's very difficult to get chilies in this country to mature in time for the chili eating competition at this time of year. Um, and a couple of the guys that thought they had the chilies just couldn't bring them through in time. Uh, so we brought a lot of them in from Holland. Um, but I do grow a lot of chilies in this country. Okay, so what made you decide to be so horrible to the people of Lowestoft? I don't know, maybe a sadistic bone or two? I don't know. <laughs> you could come and work with me, you sound like the man we want. Oh, well done, fantastic, thank you for putting it on, it was brilliant to watch. Uh, I doubt it was brilliant to do, but brilliant, well done, thank, thank you. you. Cheers.